Hi everyone, my name is Nate Greats. I'm a field service engineer here at RioSense. Today we're going to be going over how to remove and replace your test syringe on your VROC initiative instrument. Um, so first, I want to go over the tools you're going to need to do this job. Uh, first one is this 1 8 inch wrench. So this one is provided in the starter kit that comes with your initiative. Second tool you're going to need is this 3 32nd inch screwdriver. So this one's a little bit longer than the normal ones that come with your starter kit, but um, it's the same thing. Um, so the first thing you need to do is uh, remove this fitting that's closest to the left side of your initiative. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, once that's taken care of, you can go ahead and remove this beige fitting from the middle of the test range. So you don't need a tool to do that, you can just loosen it with your fingers. Once that's out, you can just kind of leave it hanging there. Um, and the last fitting you're going to need to, be, you're going to, need to remove is um, the one that's holding the plunger in the clip. So that's where you're going to use the screwdriver. screw should just slide right out of there. Um, once you loosen all the fittings, you can just take the test syringe, lift it slowly from the right hand side, and then just slide it out from that, uh, this valve that is in. Um, so this is what it looks like once you take it out. Um, to replace it, you're just gonna do what I just showed you in the reverse order. Um, so we're first gonna take this and insert this blue tube into the valve that you took it out of. Just slide it right back in and it should fit very snug in right where you took it out from. Um, so the first thing we'll replace is the screw that you took out from the plunger. Um, so that should just slide right in there. You want to make sure your plunger is aligned so the screw has an opening to go through. Um, so we're going to use this wrench again. Let's go ahead and tighten this up. Next, you're going to replace this beige fitting with your fingers again. Um, you don't need to tighten it too much, just until you feel a good amount of resistance. You don't want to tighten it uh, to the point where you can't take it off the next time you have to replace your test syringe. So once that's nice and tight, you're going to take your 1 8 inch wrench again and tighten up this last fitting that goes into the valve. It might take you a couple of turns to do this. Um, and you want to keep tightening until you feel slight resistance and then go an extra 30 to 40 degrees. Okay, once your test syringe is replaced, um, the next thing you're going to need to do is calibrate your test syringe. So now for the calibration, uh, we're going to be doing that in the software. So you're going to navigate to the test syringe calibration utility as shown. So first you're going to navigate to settings. Under settings, you're going to go to service utilities, which is already highlighted here. Uh, once you're in service utility, you're going to click calibrate test syringe. So when you bring up, when you click calibrate test syringe, it's going to bring up this window here. Um, you're just going to need to click start calibration. Um, two of the calibration positions are calculate, calibrated all, automatically, but you will need to do one position manually. Um, so when that part comes up, I will show you what I'm talking about. So it's just gonna run for a little bit here. And I'll just let it go until it prompts us to do the next step. So the one position that you're gonna have to calibrate manually is the 100 microliter mark. To do this, you're just gonna simply align the plunger with the 100 microliter mark on the test range. Um, so you're gonna use the arrow keys here on the screen to move the piston left and right. Um, you can choose the increment that you're going to move the piston in here, so it's either going to be 0.1 millimeters or 1. Um, and then you can see here in this diagram, this is how the plunger should be aligned. So once you've lined it up properly, then you can go ahead and, go ahead and click Save Position. And then the last position is going to be run automatically as well. So last, if you're replacing the old syringe with the new syringe, you're gonna to need to navigate to the settings and then to the maintenance page. So from there, you're gonna reset the use count on the 100 microliter test syringe. 
Um, so once that's done, that about wraps it up for the test range replacement. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to reach out to us here at RioSense. Um, you can comment or like below, and there's also going to be our contact info down there. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Nate. I'm a test engineer. <laughs> test range engineer. Okay. Replace this, or t remove this fitting from the side closest. Oh, we start over. <laughs> <laughs> So can we start again? Yeah. Okay, cut. Syringe and slide it right out. It should come out fairly easily. This is how it looks once you take it out. Cut. <laughs> That's good. I, I needed to redo it. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Contact us at sales at riosense.com or you can Reach us at 925-866-301. No? Okay. <laughs> no phone number? No phone number, because we'll have everything in there already.